we have an update to Helix Pro. If we go ahead and create this here, you'll see we have a couple options now where you can change the knot type from uh, Bezier to corner or smooth. You can toggle between them. We still have the flip direction and your radius height and all the turns. We clean up the bias and the variation sections of the tool. One thing uh, to note here is we did fix the tabbing. That was an issue in the previous version of Helix. So you can start at the top and tab through them and they're now in order. So you can go through and kind of tweak those. One of the main benefits of Helix Pro is uh, the knots itself. So you can choose how many knots make up a complete circle inside of uh, the helix shape. So you can go down to as low as two sides or two knots per loop. Usually eight is ideal if you're using uh, smooth, but if you're doing bezier, you can go down pretty low and have a good circular shape. I would say four is about the lowest I would recommend, but that's up to you. Um, you can obviously crank up the turn. We have the height bias. That's useful if you're doing springs or something of that nature. Let's go up to eight. And then we have the radius bias, which if we put a taper on this, and then we do the radius bias, you'll see how it kind of favors one side or the other in terms of the size of uh, each end. If you mix them together, you can get some pretty cool effects. Almost looks like a little tornado. And then we have height variation. So that randomizes the height of each loop and you can get some knots and stuff like that looking pretty nice. And then lastly, we have the radius variation. You can crank up uh, the frequency and the scale here. You could animate the offset or the phase to get some nice effects as well. And that's it. Thanks.